Okay, well, it's one after the hour, so let's get started. On behalf of all of us at Treischer and Greif, welcome to the Discover Greif webinar series. My name is Jason Colgrove. I've been with Treischer for seven years and currently serve as a senior sales manager in North America. Prior to joining Treischer, I have held roles in financial management and operational leadership. I will be your moderator for today's event. As a division of Greif, the Treischer team is excited to take over the Discover Greif webinar series to share more about our latest developments in anti-counterfeiting and venting solutions. As the global leader in industrial closures and packaging components, Treischer's team of experts works closely with drum manufacturers like Greif, fillers, reconditioners, and end users to develop innovative solutions to safeguard the contents of your products. With me today, I have Arnold Boss. Arnold has been serving in various technical roles at Treischer for 15 years. Currently as technical support, tooling and development manager in Amsterdam. Prior to joining Treischer, Arnold was with Greif in operational support roles, helping with product and process improvements around the world. In addition, we also have Eric Lacordier, who began his career with Treischer over 29 years ago, providing technical support to customers in France and Africa before moving to a sales and commercial management role. Today, Eric is responsible for product development and supporting our sales team around the globe. We will be recording this webinar to share with those who cannot attend, and it will be sent out via email later today. Your account managers will also have the PowerPoints to share with you as well. As we are using Zoom today, you will find a chat button where you can submit your questions to the panelists. Please feel free to submit questions at any time during the presentation. We will have a couple of opportunities to answer those. I'd like to kick off our first of three polling questions today. If you would please take a moment to respond to the question that is showing up on your screen now. Considering the impact of COVID-19 on the current business environment, which of the following most closely applies to the outlook of your business over the next one to three months? Responses include significantly or moderately increase, remain flat or moderately or significantly decrease. Sharing the polling results with you. Looks a uh, fairly, fairly confident group. Um, the majority of responses here, so 77, 88% are either indicating a remain flat or showing at least moderate to significant growth. That's good news for everyone in the business world. Thank you very much for participating in that first poll. During today's webinar, we will discuss Treischer's global footprint We'll touch on the breadth of closures and accessories we offer to the steel, drum, metal pail, and plastic container markets. We'll also highlight anti-counterfeit and venting solutions for containers. We'll discuss our CDS dispensing system. And finally, we'll wrap things up with a Q&A session. While globally, the drum business can be constrained by shipping costs and therefore require a significant number of plants. The closures business operates within a smaller footprint, as you can see. Due to the physical size of our products and the competitive landscape, Treischer has eight manufacturing sites located strategically throughout the globe. As you can see from the slide, Treischer has redundant production capacity for many of our products. This is an intentional decision that offers flexibility to avoid country specific tariffs or currency swings, while also providing our customers with the assurances they need of a strong and stable global supply chain. Throughout 2020, government imposed shutdowns had a dramatic impact on the steel closure market. But through our strong and stable supply chain, 
Tricer has been able to meet the needs of both our existing customers and ramp up production quickly. And we met the emergency needs of many others in the market. Closures for steel drums can be broken into two primary categories. Flanges and plugs used by steel drum manufacturers to produce a finished drum and overcaps made from either metal or plastic used by drum fillers and users to protect the closure system from dirt, contamination, and pilferage or substitution of the drum contents. Within the first category, flanges and plugs, flanges require a high level of insertion technology, tooling, and equipment, which Trisher supplies. Flanges and plugs come in a wide variety of finished goods solutions, depending upon the final packaged good chemical compatibility requirements. For example, zinc plated, lined or lacquered, nylon, polyethylene, polypropylene. Trisher's nylon, polyethylene and polypropylene plugs for steel drums are certified factory mutual or fusible plugs. Our fusible plugs are designed to melt and relieve the container pressure in case of a fire incident. Your account manager can provide more of these, uh, more information on these important fusible plugs. Back to the second category, which is metal or plastic overcaps. Tricer offers a variety of solutions made from steel, aluminum, plastic, which are trademarked as tab seal caps. We also offer our patented press-on cap, referred to as our Samba cap, which obviously not only has a great name for all of the dancers out there, but requires no tooling to crimp on and therefore can increase filling line output. Smaller metal, smaller metal containers are commonly referred to as pails. While some of the pails may utilize the steel flanges and plugs we just discussed, the primary closure system for these pails are spouts. Trisher's registered name for this family of products is Unigrip spouts. These Unigrip spouts come in a wide variety of sizes and styles, including crimp on, all plastic, press in, and weld on. As with the steel closures, we supply the necessary dies to form the optimal neck, as well as the crimping tools that are used for installation. Similar to closures for steel containers, closures for plastic containers can be broken into two primary categories. First, the plug or cap utilized to close the container and the secondary overcap to prevent contamination and pilferage. Due to the wide variety of plastic containers, the primary closure can come in many shapes and sizes and is most typically driven by the region in which the container is used and the end market of the product. Examples of this include different European and American plastic plug threads and screw caps that are specific to the agro market. Our patented push lock cap is a tamper evident solution that prevents dirt and contamination. Since it is all plastic, there is no rust or sharp edges, no tooling needed for the application and removal, and therefore can also increase filling line output. The accessories portion of our portfolio is quite large and impossible to summarize on one slide. We've listed some of the products here, but we encourage you to contact your local Tricer account manager to discuss any specific opportunities. My colleague, Eric Lacordier, will shortly be discussing the CDS, CDS system in detail. We also wanted to highlight that we've recently begun offering an all plastic closing, closing ring, which we've trademarked as BOA band. In designing our BOA band, we've worked closely with customers in this market, which resulted in improvements from other plastic, plastic closing rings that are in the market. The most highly talked about improvement is our handle, which is a solid one piece design with no seams. And now I'll pass the virtual microphone 4,000 miles to my east to my colleague Arnold Boss, who will discuss anti counterfeit solutions. Uh, thank you, uh, Jason. 
uh, dear all, also uh, welcome uh, from out of Europe. I like to um, present to you seven slides as are indexed here. Uh, seven slides which um, will talk about counterfeiting a solution, solutions for steel drums and also solutions for plastic drums. Um, to start with, we have, of course, the metal and plastic capsule cap, both known for their strong tamper evidence and sealing performance. One of the um, existing uh, uh, one of the existing um, possibilities of uh, using a capsule cap is the ability to have a cable lock connected to the capsule cap and the drum. Nowadays, there's a, a, a right variety of cable locks available on the market in metal, but also in plastic polycarbonate versions, which uh, can be used fully manual, so no tools are required. Uh, some examples are shown here on the right uh, bottom uh, corner. To connect a, a cable lock to a drum, the drum has to be executed with a label ring, also shown here on the right side of the slide. This has to be done by the drum maker as part of the drum manufacturing uh, process. This way, the label ring uh, is fully integrated and strongly fixed to the drum itself. Uh, Double-sided printing. Uh, to improve the, the TAPS cap even further more, uh, we introduced double-sided printing, which could be a logo or a uh, instruction or, or other types of printing. Uh, additional to that, we also have um, we have coding, which can be printed on the inside of the TAPS cap. And that could be a uh, time and date to make a unique number, a, a number in which is consecutive or a barcode. Um, and similar to that, it can also be done on a, on a plug, which is at the bottom left picture. Uh, these codes can be used uh, on transport documentation as a matching set to identify and check if a drum has been tampered with during transport um, or storage, especially if used in combination um, with the printed code on the drum itself. Then we also have embossed uh, tapsel caps. Uh, it's possible to apply this embossing to the surface of the tapsel cap, making it even more um, difficult to copy. And of course, this uh, feature can be combined with other anti-counterfeit uh, solutions which we will present to you. So far, uh, I showed you uh, several visible anti-counterfeit solutions. Next to that, we have also several non-visible solutions, uh, which I like to show you. These are even harder to counterfeit as you cannot see they're there. Blue fluorescent ink. Um, an image printed with this ink is not visible with the naked eye, um, as you can see on the top right picture. And it only becomes visible under the uh, influence of a black light. And again, here you can print on the inside or the outside of a tap socket. Could be a number, could also be a, a, a image, a logo. Um, And then we go to the next slide. Yeah. So we have also IR marking. Um, with an IR marking, Trisho has the ability to manufacture tapsel caps with a special marker added to the surface. This can be the total surface or only a specific spot. And of course, this, this specific spot is then known uh, by the drum owner. In below example, 
the uh, IR marker is only applied at the white drum in the, min the, in the middle of the, the logo. With an um, infrared pen of a specific wavelength, uh, the receiver of the drum, it could be an overseas uh, customer, can determine uh, if the TAPSA cap is actually a genuine or a counterfeited one. And only a, because, of course, in this case, only a trash or TAPSA cap uh, for, which has this marker in it will give the green reflection. Another anti-counterfeit uh, anti solution uh, we can offer you is invisible black ink. Uh, invisible black ink is basically the opposite of the fluorescent ink version which I showed you. An image printed with this ink is visible with the naked eye, but will become invisible when looked at with a special camera, as shown on below two pictures. This way, again, the authenticity of a TAPSU cap can be confirmed. To show the difference uh, with normal black ink, we put next to the Trishore TAPSU uh, logo uh, a black stripe, which is on the, on the left side of the two pictures. And you can, of course, see uh, on the right picture, it does not disappear when the camera is pointed at it. Um, with this technique, it's also possible to conceal, to hide a uh, safety or a security code uh, underneath this ink. And then, last but surely not least, a uh, push lock cap. The push lock cap is a high temper evident uh, prop, uh, uh, possibility we have, and it's ideal to, to use in combination with plastic drums. And this is because it firmly connects to the plug itself. Um, it's easy to apply. Jason over, or already mentioned that uh, as well in, in one of the slides uh, earlier. Uh, it can be applied by hand and also removed uh, without any tools. It protects the drum against uh, the drum opening against the dirt, and uh, it's also printable. With this slide, I'm uh, at the end of this topic. And I want to give uh, the slide, the presentation back to Jason. Thank you, Arnold. Before we jump into the Unigrip discussion, I'd like to kick off our second polling question. Which of the following do you find most important to your business? Tamper evidence solutions? green sustainable solutions, trace and track solutions, or venting transportation safety solutions. I'll hold for just a moment and share the results with you. Pretty widespread evenly amongst the group, although the venting solutions certainly um, lead the way. And that's good news because very soon Eric Lacordier will be discussing these venting solutions. Now we'll talk about a few of the solutions available on our family of Unigrip spouts, which I briefly introduced to you earlier. Throughout 2020, we've seen a significant demand uh, increase for our Unigrip spouts. It's primarily driven by an increase in the janitorial products and alcohol for hand sanitizers, which have certainly been impacted from COVID-19. The oversized cap on our Unigrip spout is ideal for logo printing and a safety improvement from other market alternatives as pale users can safely remove the cap with its oversized design while keeping on their gloves. Tracer offers both standard and anti-glug versions of our Unigrip. As shown here in the video, our anti-glug version has been designed to aid the pace and flow of contents being dispensed from the pail. We've also recently introduced our Pro Blue Unigrip spout. 
This is produced with a blend of selected resins that will provide a superior chemical resistance against very aggressive chemicals. Using this product, we've recently assisted a customer to solve a vapor release issue related to racing fuels that they were experiencing. We've also recently introduced in-mold and ultrasonic welding options to our family of Unigrip spouts. The in-mold spout provides the highest tamper evidence solution as the pale lid is injection molded around the spout itself, resulting in a finished lid that is one with the spout. Our spout includes an improved design on the lifting handles, which allows the container user to safely access the contents without having to remove their gloves. And our ultrasonically welded version has been designed with a blend of resin, making it ideal for welding on both polypropylene or polyethylene lids. Also, the handles are welded to the spout to make it impossible to tamper with without destroying the welding points. Today, we're also formally introducing our PlastiCap 70 to the market. This 70 millimeter screw cap has been designed to work as a plug and play replacement to the cap currently utilized in the market, but with several added features. We're the only company that will be offering a food safety certified 70 millimeter screw cap that will be under our FSSC 22000 certification, which will include the full assurances of product traceability. We've heard from many of you about the concern with lead times in this particular market, and we're happy to be investing in this market. And we've invested such that we will be ensuring that we can offer an improvement in lead times from other market alternatives. As you can see, we are offering a wide variety of options and we're ready to talk to you today about your needs. With that, I'll turn it over to my colleague, Eric Lacordier, who is located in Rouen, France. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Let me now show you innovative solution for packaging we need to vent in or to vent out. In other words, I will show you solution with, which will allow packaging to, to breathe. First of all, why do we need a venting closure? Many chemical formulation naturally and continuously release gas inside the container. Also, atmospheric pressure variation will affect the packaging. This is the case if filling process is done at sea level and use of the container done in an elevated area. Temperature increase. For example, storage under the sun will also deform the container. If you cannot release the pressure inside the packaging, you might blow up till explosion. On the other hand, your container can also collapse for the same reason. Specific formulation can consume oxygen of the air and create under pressure. Temperature decrease after hot filling is also an important collapsing trigger. Last, Temperature differences between the day and the night will also impact the packaging shape. We have a solution for all kinds of packaging that you use, whether it is metallic, plastic, with an inner thread or an outer thread, such as on a small plastic jelly can. We will distinguish two families of venting solution. First of all, we have the one-way venting system. In this case, a mushroom vent will let the gas to get in or to get out, depend on the position of the mushroom. A typical of the example for this kind of application is for customer who wants to close the drum just after filling at high temperature. Next. The second family is called microporous vent. In that case, we will place a microporous membrane inside the closure. This membrane will allow the gas to get inside or outside of the packaging. It will equalize the pressure inside the container. The most important characteristic of the microporous membrane are the following. 
the micropore of the membrane is built in such a way that only the gas will uh, escape, but never the liquid field. Our micropores membrane has the highest repellency level of the market, which means that the surface of the membrane will always um, and automatically uh, remain dry if, even after liquid contact. Therefore, functionality is automatically, automatically recovered even after an accidental drop of the packaging. We also developed a food compliant version of this, of this micropolis event solution. Next. These technologies described above, above are suitable for steel drum. You can use the G3 quarter inch opening or the G21 to put in place a venting closure. For perfect functionality, do not forget to use a venting tamper evident cap. For example, metal tapsil caps pierced with a hole. As you can see on this picture, we also have a full, a full range of a plastic plug venting plug with compatible thread for your plastic drum. For example, in Europe, you can use a solution with a 56 times 4 diameter or a G2 times 5 diameter for the US market. Now. now, let's focus on this unique plastic cap MPV3 application. We associated our high quality and performing macroporous membrane with our innovative patented design MPV3. On this first picture, you can see uh, the three components before the assembly process on the plastic cap. The membrane, uh, which will be welded on the wad, uh, the wad, which was drilled before welding process, uh, and the plastic cap with its internal air channel shape, uh, which is specific. Uh, on the second picture, the pl plastic cap MPV3 is screwed on the container. You can see the place between the thread uh, the thread neck and the plastic cap. On the third picture, with the form, when the formulation will start to release gas, it will go through the membrane and the wad and will escape following the thread. Of course, the system will also work on the other, on the other direction to let the air to get inside the system. Let's, let's share this video. We will explain you the system and the functionality here. So at the beginning, you see the gas and the molecule uh, which goes through the membrane. Uh, the way we applied uh, this component inside the plastic cap. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the video was a little bit uh, short to, to download. And the place between the neck and the, and the plastic cap. You also see that the gas uh, will go through the membrane, through the wad, and will continue uh, to escape from the cap by following the thread. So what you see in grid is a, is a gas chemical, which is venting out. Uh, and you, you can also see here the air which can get inside the packaging by following the same way, but on the other direction. So this MPV3 solution is available for our full range of plastic cap MPV3 screw cap. I want to draw your attention on the fact that it is also very important to refer to the UN regulation before to decide to use the venting closure. Our team can help you and guide you for for the best solution for your application. I will continue this presentation with our CDS closed dispensing stem. CDS has been developed to empty a drum without having any, any contact with the chemical field. We screw, when CDS is screwed, Inside the packaging, it's considered a, as a standard closure. It can easily pass a UN testing, such as a cold drop test, hydraulic pressure test. When CDS coupler is connected to the end user application, 
operator do not have any contact with the chemical field, neither vapor. The air will automatically go inside the packaging during the emptying process. The best way to use CDS is the following. The first action is for the drum maker or the IBC maker, who will equip, equip one bung of the, of the container with a CDS extractor. The drum filler will use a second opening to fill chemical inside packaging. Additional temper evidence cap can be applied on both openings. Container is now ready for shipment to the end user. At reception of the container, operator will just have to connect and secure CDS coupler on the extractor. The last action will be to start the pump in order to extract the li liquid to the application. As soon as the emptying process is finished, operator just have to disconnect the coupler and stop the pump. Then the drum is automatically closed and ready for the next use. All our CDS extractors and couplers have a unique laser engraving. On this laser engraving, you will find the manufacturing date and the item code. This has, this has been introduced for perfect traceability, even, even when components have been remo removed sorry, from their original carton boxes. We can also develop a specific extractor and coupler shape yeah? in order to create a kind of a pokayoke system when, for example, you want to use two different chemicals on the same working place. This presentation is not finished and I'm handing over to my colleague Jason for, for any question you, you can have. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Eric. And thank you to everyone that has submitted a question. Please note if, that if we are unable to address your question directly now, we are compiling a list and we'll reach out to you shortly after the webinar. Eric, one question that we just received that I'd like to pass on to you is what types of raw materials are we using to make the vent in our vent plugs? So for the, uh, for the macroporous venting system, we have, uh, this is a specific uh, Teflon coated base uh, with micropore inside, uh, which is welded on the, on the different kind of uh, plastic plug or screw cap we, we produce. Thank you. And Arnold, uh, a question came in about the infrared pin. Is the infrared pin that's used and that was shown in this solution presented, is that a special tool or can any random infrared pin be utilized? Um, well, the, the pen needed, um, our answer basically is no, you cannot take a random pen. So um, to get the wanted reflection uh, on the surface of the tap so cap, um, you need to have a pen with a specific uh, wavelength. Um, the need to have this uh, specific wavelength um, in combination, what I, I, I told on the slide, that we can print uh, the ER marker on a specific location of the TAPS cap itself, uh, will make it very hard to detect by a counterfeiter. So, um, uh, so not being able to use a random pen makes this solution, uh, I believe, very strong. Great. We did receive another question here um, about sustainability. Let me see what sustainability initiatives are underway at Trisher. I'll take a stab at this one. Um, there's really three things that I think are worth sharing here. One is our uh, commitment to trying uh, to use green resins. And specifically now we're globally, we use around 15% PCR resin. Uh, and we have a target, both a target and a, a plan in place to get that figure up to 25% in the next five years. Uh, additionally, we're working on projects to bring in degradable solutions. We have uh, many active projects on that now. And 
we actually have uh, samples and, and parts that we can start showing our customers. So if any of you are interested in that, please reach out to your account manager and we can discuss that. And then in addition to our products, we are, um, we are living and breathing. We, from an operational standpoint, um, the team focuses and tries to identify additional projects that we can take on. And, and speaking to that, this year, the Trisher Carroll Stream Plant won the annual Michael J. Gasser Sustainability Award. This award was created to recognize the efforts of teams that create both sustainability and business value for our company. The Trisher team was recognized for our business development priorities in waste reduction and creating a circular sustainable system by collaborating with other Greif facilities to use over 800,000 pounds of recycled plastics and reuse many empty corrugated boxes uh, reducing our box purchases for that specific product line by 84%. Let me look through and see if there are any additional questions. Eric, there is uh, one more question about the CDS system. How do, how do we avoid any remaining liquid in the drum? when using the CDS system? Yes, thank you, Jason. This is a good question. Yes, at, um, as you have seen on the, on the presentation, there is a, an extending foot at the, uh, at the tube extremity, uh, which will uh, allow to, uh, to empty um, nearly, not 100%, but at least 98% of the, the quantity of liquid we have inside the drum. We also have an alternative for dosing application with a backflow valve at the tube extremity. Uh, Thank you, Eric. And Arnold, we did have one more question. I missed it earlier. Um, the question is, is twofold. Uh, one, how common are requests for anti-counterfeit caps? And are there any industries in particular that we see these requests more commonly? Um, as a technician, I cannot answer that uh, uh, directly how many requests there are. I do know that we uh, supply taps or caps uh, like the embossing uh, version um, with the um, um, fluorescent ink version. So those are produced uh, uh, and, and go into the market. Uh, again, I have to to um, uh, let you down on, on the question on how, how often this is done. I'm not in that uh, field. Uh, looking at it from a technical respect, uh, of course. But um, yeah, it, it's done. And, and uh, yeah, it's depending on, on uh, uh, what the customer likes, of course. We are having the ability to, uh, to apply this. Yeah, and I, I can try and help um, with that question as well, Arnold. So from an uh, anti-counterfeit solution, there are many solutions that we presented and we are selling millions of them globally. Um, as the uh, anti-counterfeit solutions get more technical and more advanced, certainly at this point, we're not selling as many as we are of our standard tab seal caps that provide that um, uh, anti-pilferage technology already. Uh, in, in particular, in which industries, I, I think where we see the most drive is um, geographically based. There are certain parts of the world where um, the, the pilferage may be more prevalent at this time. And that's the breakout that we could probably respond and say that's, that's how we see the breakout the most. Well, with that, thank you to our panelists who have a wealth of knowledge and information between them. Our team is here to help you. Please feel free to reach out to your account manager if you would like any additional support or information. Before we wrap up today, I would like to put a quick question on your screen. We've covered a lot of topics today and we would just like to know if, if you or would like us, someone from Greif or Trisher to contact you for further discussions. Give a moment.
We thank you for attending today and we invite you to register for the next Discover Grife webinar, which will focus on UN markings and packaging advice from the chemists around the world. We also encourage you to follow us on LinkedIn to stay up to date with the Discover Grife webinar events, as well as engage us in all things important to industrial packaging. Again, thank you for attending and have a wonderful day.